Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Quiz R, what I call the quiz version of Happy R. And yeah, tonight will be, uh, yeah, it's just a milestone that it's the 52nd quiz, 52nd edition of the Quiz R. So yeah, uh, completing one year. So quite thrilled about it that, uh, at the same time, I didn't realize that the lockdown Corona would stay on for this long. So it's kind of a bittersweet uh, thing. Let's put it that way. So I'm happy that at least uh, I could have a quiz in some way. I mean, at least a tradition of hosting quizzes going on. Thanks to the online and thanks for your all participation. So just let me know if you can hear me well so that i know that everything is in ordnung okay hi nalini queen quiz uh, team quizditch wonderful hello pete good to see you again and is the bear with you or uh... hi sagandika Oh. Wonderful. Hi, Away. Hi, Philip. Hi, David. Hi, Samia. Hi, Andreas. I'm just going to be with you guys with the quiz. And um, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> uh, it looks like everyone is online. Uh, a couple of them just wrote that they're going to take one minute. So let's wait. Okay. Well, you all there, uh, just thought I will give a quick glance of what happened in the past year. So 52nd edition in a row, uh, over 1,650 questions. Uh, yeah, I had 30 more today, uh, 36 more. Then 306 unique connections, uh, over 1,200 plus participants, roughly around that. And I had like 106 different teams based on the scores shared and unique teams. So wonderful. Uh, is that okay, Carolina now? Are you fine or you still? Let me know once you're set, Can it's fine. One or two minutes shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, that's how it come. Let's give it, let's give a minute, it's fine. All good, perfect, then we can carry on. Okay, so now back to business. What's in the quiz, six rounds, each round with a different theme, no negatives. One point per question and it's self-scoring. So be wise, be kind. And yeah, you might wonder what the cupcakes are all about. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of cupcakes. Occasionally I do fancy myself, but yeah, that's about it. So do send do nots, uh, do not Google or cheat. Uh, do not type the answers on the comments for those of you who are just watching the quiz. And do have lots of fun and enjoy. So that's the that's the thing. And yeah, 
let's quiz. Round one, total points at stake six. Uh, it's a visual round. Five visuals. Number one. Name this painting. Name this painting. That's question one. Question two. One of the famous screwball comedies, name this movie. One of the famous screwball comedies, name this movie. Number three, name the movie. And number four is this, name the movie. And number five, this is a group photo of the characters from what TV show? This is a group photo of the characters from what TV show? Now, for a bonus point, what connects all the five answers? Here is the recap slide. And I will be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so time for the answers. Number one, girl interrupted at her music. Uh, if you have girl interrupted is as your answer, so I will be nice and give you the point. So girl interrupted is quite important. The second one is his girl Friday. 
if you haven't watched this do watch and if you yeah, fancy some screwball comedies of the 40s yeah i would recommend this mainly because of russell and russell's acting so yeah number three is the other poland girl number four is the girl on the train emily blunt interestingly they've also made a indian uh, remake of this it's on netflix i haven't checked it out so thought of putting that but then that would have been too much so <laughs> number five gossip girl and the connection uh, each of the titles have the word girl in them and let's have the scores for the first round Hopefully, many would have gotten the connection. Did anyone get the painting? So, yeah, looks like a decent start. Let's move on to round two. Question one. In the Guni languages spoken in South Africa, Amandla means power. Amandla happens to be one of the final albums of what jazz musician released in 1989? Painting, yeah, it's a Vermeer painting and it's also the uh, inspiration for the girl interrupted uh, movie title um, based on the book. So, yeah. So, uh, looking for what jazz musician, uh, famous name. So that's question one. Question two. Named after an American surgeon, Thomas George Morton, Morton's neuroma, also known as the intermetatarsal neuroma, affects what part of the human body? Named after an American surgeon, Thomas George Morton. Morton's neuroma, also known as the metatarsal neuroma, affects what part of the human body? And moving on to question three. In his backstory, what Pixar character is a universal space ranger from the Intergalactic Alliance, hails from the fictional planet, uh, planet of Morph? His backstory, what Pixar character is a universal space ranger from the Intergalactic Alliance, hails from the fictional planet of Morph? That's question three. Question four. 
What board game won the prestigious Spiel der Jahr Award for 1983? In this game, the players assume the control of different detectives to track down a player controlling the criminal along London streets. So, looking for the name of the board game. Question four. Question five. Pretty Hate Machine, The Downward Spiral, The Fragile are some of the music albums of which American band? Atticus Ross and Trent Reznor are the current members of the band. Pretty Hate Machine, The Downward Spiral, The Fragile are some of the music albums of which American band, Atticus Ross and Trent Reznor are the current members of the band. And for a bonus point, what connects all the five answers? Here's the recap slide and I will be back in a minute. Time for the answers. Number one, Miles Davis. Miles Davis. Number two, foot. Feet, foot. Yeah. Number three, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Number four, Scotland Yard. Number five, nine inch nails. Nine inch nails and the connection. Unit of length, inch, light year, yard, foot, mile. So, unit of length. If you have written units of length, length units, length, yeah, it's fine. Length measurement. So, take a point for the connection and let's have the scores for this round. <laughs> so good okay so moving on to round three 12 points at stake six and here comes the 
question. Walter Blanco, played by Diego Trillo, Trillo, in the series Metastasis, is based on an iconic TV character. What was the TV character's name in English? What is the TV character's name in English? Ease is a better option. That's question two is name this knight of King Arthur's legendary knights made famous by a 12th century romance by Christian the Troyes and shares the name with a Richard Wagner's opera. Okay, Richard Wagner's opera. No need to be operas. So sorry for that. Sorry for the typo for the last one. It's just opera. So, a knight of a King Arthur, so legendary knights, and Richard Wagner's opera. That's number two. Number three yeah, is a gym leader of Snowbell City in the Kalos region, and that's his keystone. He's a character appearing in the Pokemon series. So I just want to know what's his name. So if you're into Pokemon series, yeah, that's the character I'm looking for. Well, it's a pretty interesting connect. Uh, all five answers are related uh, really well. I don't think you can add any more to it. So that way it's quite exhaustive the connection is number four what international cricketer holds the first class record for the highest individual score he made crickets only to 200 in first class cricket So, our international cricketer holds the first class record for the highest individual score. He made crickets only 200 in first class cricket. Okay, moving on from cricket to Tolkien. In the poem Errantry, what name is used by J.R. Tolkien uh, for a large bee creature that lived in midgewater water march marshes and said to have battled a tiny messenger knight on a quest? So, 
what name is used by J.R. Tolkien for a large bee creature that lived in rich water marshes, said to have battled a tiny messenger knight on a quest. Okay, so for a bonus point, what connects all the five answers? And here is the recap slide. I will be back in a minute's time. And for the answers, number one is Walter White so from Breaking Bad, Blanco, that was the clue, White. Number two is Percival, Parsifal, Percival, any one of the names as long as it means the same, you can take that. Parsifal was the Richard, uh, I mean Wagner's opera. Number three is Wolfric. Wolfric. And number four is Bran Lara. Bran Lara from Trinidad and Tobago, place for West Indies. And number five is Dumbledore. So Dumbledore is an ancient name for Bumblebee. So Dumbledore and connection. I found this photo funny. Yeah, my name is Dumbledore, Brand Dumbledore, Wolfric Brand Dumbledore, Percival Wolfric Brand Dumbledore, Albus Percival Wolfric Brand Dumbledore. So Albus is the Latin word for white. So didn't want to make it too obvious there. So for those who are into Harry Potter, so that's the connection. So yeah, let's have the scores for this round. Oh, that's the full name of Albus Dumbledore in Harry Potter. So, And round four. Yeah, your name has Quidditch. So yeah, Quidditch. Okay, so teams with a little bit more Harry Potter nerds got it. Looks like it's fine. So three more rounds to go. And here is the question one. In two thousand seven, which European city added um word per se? on Lake Worth, Worth to its official name. This lake is a popular tourist attraction during summers. So that's question one. Question two. Which European city added um, word per se to its official name? This lake is a popular tourist attraction during summers. Okay, question two. Which edition of the Winter Olympics was the snowman a mascot? 
snowman the mascot was the snowman a mascot yes yeah So yeah, which edition? So I'll be lenient. You can name the city or the year. So that's fine. Question two. Question three. Designed by Folkmar Burgstaller, in which city would you find this building that houses historical airplanes, F1 cars, helicopters, etc.? Also, the building has Icarus, a Michelin starred restaurant. So that's question three. Question four. The recipe for this food item was first found in a manuscript in Admont Abbey and is said to be one of the oldest pastries ever to be named after a place. So what item? So the recipe for this food item was first found in a manuscript in Admont Abbey and is said to be one of the oldest pastries ever to be named after a place. So what item? So that's question four. And question five, which city lies at the foot of Fander Mountain and hosts one of the world's largest floating stages for the annual performing arts festival, which is named after the city? So which city? Let's see, I'm, I don't know, this might be the tough one compared to the last one, but it turned out the last one to be the tough one for many of you. Let's see this one. I'll look at the results and then make a prediction. Maybe a couple of teams might have an advantage. I don't know. So let's see. For a bonus point, what connects all the five answers? And here is the recap slide. I'll give you about a minute, minute and a half, and then be back with the answers.
Okay, time for the answers. Number one is Klagenfurt. So Klagenfurt am Wörthersee is the new name, official name. Number two is Innsbruck. So that was the mascot for the 1976 Winter Olympics. Innsbruck is fine. Number three is Salzburg. Salzburg. Hangar 7 is the name. And yeah, can uh, it, it's owned by Red Bull. Number four is Linzer Torte. Linzer Torte. Number five is Bregenz. Bregenz. And connection, yeah, you can give me either Austrian cities or capital cities of the Austrian states. Either way, it's fine. So Austri Austria, if you have given, yeah, okay, you can take a point. That's fine as well. Klagenfurt is Carinthia's capital, Tyrol's Innsbruck, Salzburg. Salzburg, Linz is Upper Austria, and Bregenz is Vorarlberg. Vorarlberg. Let's have the scores. And 2.5, point 0.5 is for Samia. Oh, Andrea, surprising. Got six. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So how many Austrians are playing the quiz? Okay, so round five. My favorite round is this. 12 points at stake six. Here comes the first question. Which Canadian province uses this flag? Which which Canadian province uses this flag? Number two, name this Cadbury chocolate, first introduced in 1970. It is a bar of milk chocolate with a caramel center. Too sweet for me. I had this in the Cadbury chocolate factory. So I found it. Pete looks quite happy. Good. Every team is finding one of the rounds as their own, so which is good. Question three. What is the Algonquian word for village at a big river located in the mid-atlantic region this bay is separated from the atlantic ocean by the delmarva peninsula Yeah, it's always about the chocolate. Grew up eating a lot of Cadbury's, so yeah, fond memories of that. It's 
So that's question three. Again, this uh, connection is quite uh, exhaustive. You can say that. So this would be the difficult question of the three, the third one. Number four, what is the Portuguese word for farmer? Or yeah, someone works like farmer and uh, or at least their profession like a farmer. A Portuguese explorer with this name lends his name to a large peninsula that he explored during the 15th century. So I'll accept the English word as well. So yeah, uh, chocolate after chocolate, you know, it, you always go si sideways. I don't think. Anyways, uh, you never know, you know, there is still one more question. You might come back on track and then get these answers as well. So that's. And number five. Which NBA team was founded in 1946 in Philadelphia and changed to their present name in 1971? Will Chamberlain played for this team from 1959 to 1965. Sorry, from 1959 to 1965, not and 65. So I need the current name. So they move towards the West. Let's, uh, I'm giving you a clue there. And they are one of the top teams, at least in the past decades or so. So, so which NBA team was founded in 1946 in Philadelphia and changed to the present team in 71? Will Chamberlain played for the team from Okay, so for a bonus point, what connects all the five answers? Here is the recap slide. So which Canadian province is the flag? in the Cadbury chocolate. What is the going to for village at a big river? Portuguese word for farmer. And the NBA team. So I will be back in a minute's time. Sorry. Okay, so time for the answers. Number one is Nova Scotia. Number two is Curly Whirly. Curly Whirly. Number three is Chesapeake Bay. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Number four is Lavrador is the surname. So Labrador, I would have accepted. Rio Fernandez Labrador is the explorer's name. 
and number five is golden state warriors the connection is types of retriever breeds so curly coated retriever golden retriever chesapeake bay and labrador retriever now has got your duck trolling retriever the only thing i didn't have was flat coated retriever so types of retriever breeds and let's have the scores So it was Philadelphia Warriors, it was known as. So then it became San Francisco Warriors and then Golden State Warriors. So that's how the name comes. So if you have written 76ers, no, uh, no points for that. So I don't know, somehow I like this round. I mean, uh, yeah, if at all, uh, it's my favorite breed of dog so if at all would have in the future i think one of these would be if not this yeah so that's the connection there all right so round six normally i have something to mark the occasion and uh, yeah this might just be that round Let's go for it. Number one, which country's militants held American hostages for more than a year in the aftermath, aftermath of a revolution where the Pahlavi monarchy was overthrown? So question one, just need the country's name. Question two. What two-word Latin phrase is the title of the poem written by John Dryden? It commemorates many notable events that took place in the period of 1665 and 1666. 80, yeah. 80 should have been... <laughs> So what word Latin phrase is the title of the poem written by John Dryden. It commemorates many notable events that took place in the period of So that's question two. Question three. In which country did Porfiro Diaz rule as the president for 31 years, spread across seven terms? Porfiriato is the term given to the entire period from 1876 to 1911 in his country. So that's question three.
question four what billy joel's album pays tribute or makes a reference to one of new york city's jazz centers of the 50s incidentally the studio where this album was recorded is headquartered there Question four. And question five. Name this layered cocktail containing coffee liqueur, Irish cream, and an orange liqueur. Okay, so that's five questions. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave this slide for a few more seconds so that you have a for a bonus point. What connects all the five answers? So here is the recap slide. Which country's militants held American hostages for more than a year in the aftermath of a revolution where the Pahlavi monarchy was overthrown? Question two, what two word Latin phrase is the title of the poem written by John Dryden? It commemorates many notable events that took place in the period of 1665 to 1666. Number three is in which country did Porfiro Diaz rule as the president for 31 years in seven terms? Porfiratu is the term given to the entire period from 1876 to 1911 in his country. Number four, what Billy Joel's album pays tribute or makes a reference to one of New York City's jazz centers of the 50s. Incidentally, the studio where this album was recorded is headquartered there. And number five, name this layered cocktail containing coffee liqueur, Irish cream and an orange liqueur. Okay, so we'll be back in a minute with the answers. Okay, so the answers. Number one is Iran. Number two is Anas Mirabilis. Number three is Mexico. Number four is 52nd Street. Number five is B52. Connection. Well, 52. Uh, yeah, just being tribute to the 52nd edition of this quiz. Now, 52 hostages held. Yeah, earlier it was 66 and then 13 were released considering, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like uh, because they were of a certain group of people they were considered not to be spies so they were let and one was uh, injured or rather not feeling well so it became 52 who stayed long term and 52 weeks in a year 
and yeah, plus 52 is the ISD code for Mexico, 52nd Street and B52. So that's the connection for this round. And yeah, so please do share your scores and the final scores. Uh, yeah, what next after 52 comes 53. So the next quiz is on 30th March 2021. Uh, yeah, I just want to say that uh, really happy that, you know, this weekly edition has continued to come this far and yeah, had 52 editions. Yeah, I mean, these were roller coaster times the past year for me as well as the quiz company as such. But then, uh, you know, uh, thank you for all the people, you know, who sent me some encouraging messages, suggestions. Uh, yeah, I mean, really thankful for that. And some of you, yeah, who uh, made me, literally forced me to create a Patreon page. So, yeah, finally, I'm on Patreon. And that's, thank you for that. So, all I can do is I can send out virtual hugs for you. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I can do at this moment. And hopefully... We get to uh, meet in person like we used to in good old days. Yeah, I guess that term can be used. So at this stage, I think even April is gone by the looks of it. And the way the cases are rising, you never know. I mean, May, let's see. Let's take it one week at a time. And I hope to see you next week at uh, 8.30 p.m. Uh, local time. And yeah, if you have any suggestions, if you have any feedback, yeah, please do uh, write write in, and then I'll be I'll I'll ensure at least I'll see what I can do about it. Okay, so thank you uh, very much, and I wish you all a great evening and rest of the week. And I shall see you for the fifty third edition next week. Okay, so ciao from my end.